Just that way. I couldn't find the other one. Oh, babe, I love it. She's okay. We're just heading downtown. We haven't, we've been training for quite, probably the whole time we've been Honestly, here. Honestly, the whole time, yeah. Um, so I think it's so cool just walking around, seeing the place and the beautiful Mount Vernon, of course. <laughs> very different to Australia. Beautiful coastal town. Very, very busy nightlife at the moment. Yeah, it's um, quite popular here at the moment, as you can see. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I know it's gorgeous here. We love it. Yeah. We've honestly had such an amazing time training, but sometimes it is nice to not be all sweaty Actually, in the gym. Brush your hair once yeah. in a while. And, um, good hygiene sometimes. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's actually quite nice out tonight. It's not too cold, which is good. But it's yeah. about what, like minus four? Yeah, that's minus nice. Four. Quite nice. Feels nice like Australia. It. It's pretty much like Australia, so yeah. it's all right. Yeah. Bikini weather? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, otherwise they might look at your thing and be like, oh, there's no point in putting her in. So if you email them, oh, that's they'll a good point. Hi, my name is Natasha. I'm a white belt from Australia. And we've been at Daisy Fresh for about two weeks now. And it's truly been like the best experience like I've ever done in my whole life. The, the training is just next level. I've never been so physically exhausted in my entire life of training. I've only been training for about five months or so but I think coming here has just completely changed my style of jiu-jitsu and like my outlook on my own game and just the whole jiu-jitsu world itself but I think I don't know coming coming from Australia to this gym as a female even just in this whole industry it's it's kind of difficult for us to get like good roles in especially in, with not having a lot of females so coming here we were so surprised with how many girls there were everyone has been so lovely and yes the training has been so so hard but training's hard everywhere so i think just coming here coming into a new environment new space everyone has been so welcoming and so lovely and there were so many girls which is honestly we were the trip. honestly we were shocked we were like oh it's probably only going to be like a couple girls there we're just gonna have some good roles with some guys but we came and there was like there's probably like 10 girls on a good yeah. day and I, we literally have more girls here than we do actually at our home gym so it's actually been really surprising they're all pretty much our weight as well which is quite nice to be able to actually competitively roll with the girls I mean we're getting totally obliterated every day yeah. but we absolutely love that like it's just yeah. really humbling it's such a it's such, it's such a, a great experience weird, yeah. but it's such a good feeling but yes yeah. so nowhere else we decided to go we decided to come to straight to Illinois because we we're like there's no point messing around it's like we want to get some good training in so honestly this was the first and only place we ever thought of to come mm -hmm. it was just straight, straight to Mount Vernon and straight to PSF. Yeah. So hi, I'm Monique. I'm also a white belt and I'm also from Australia. Um, I've been training Jiu Jitsu for about oof, nine, maybe a year, depending on all the lockdowns we've had in Australia. Um, and yeah, PSF was pretty much the only choice we wanted to do like place we wanted to train coming to America. A few, people, a few people have questioned our decision for coming here but to us there was like there was no other choice. Because like even no matter what rank other gyms you can go to yeah but you don't really learn much unless you're like a high ranked belt. Coming here we knew it was going to be like the right decision for us as a white belt just to learn. We, even though we're rolling with like people who are coloured belts or people who've been like doing jutsu for 10, 7, 15 years. We knew that coming here would be like we would be the safest place for us to learn but be challenged at the same time without being sheltered or protected because most girls in gyms coaches are like no just be careful don't hurt the girls but it's actually been like even rolling with the men here have been like they're all incredibly nice they don't they don't like no no matter what belt what gender you you know you're just going to be welcomed here and the it's the, literally like a family like we've yeah. made friends here in the last like nine days that like we're like if you ever come to Australia just come to our house like ever need somewhere to train food water anything just yeah but yeah it's been really so good. like a little little interesting family, little family. but very we interesting would, we would not change this experience for anything else yeah. the, the place the gym everything the yeah. people that's, I think that's what makes it the most honestly yeah. is the people like the family that you guys have created even just watching through like flow is how we even notice this gym like PSF otherwise we would have had no idea what pedigree submission fighting was and like even just how close you guys have like become throughout like the last five years and just heaps more people like we were watching when there was like 10 people in the gym now there's like 50 on the mats and we're all like rolling in with each other it's just like a really great environment and we couldn't have picked a better place to like even as white belts with very little high intensity experience, coming from, no experience. Yeah, coming from Australia um, there was no other place we would have thought about like we could have went eight, B team in Austin we could have went to California we could have went to Florida we could have went to all the nice sunny areas we decided to come to beautiful Illinois beautiful Mount Vernon 
there's, yeah, there's just so many other gyms all across the world, but for the, the style of jiu-jitsu that you guys have modernized, you know, it's literally all over the world. Yeah, it's just, it's what drawn us in and we absolutely love it. It's crazy getting thrown on the floor. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful experience. <laughs> yeah. I think, we're, I think we're already booked our flights for next year. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we're saving. Yeah. We're just going to go back home to save and then we'll be, we'll be, right we'll back be definitely out. back. Yeah. Maybe in the summer. Yeah, maybe yeah, definitely yeah. in the summer. But yeah, we're honestly, I don't think we won't ever not come back. It'll be it'll be hard to get us away. Literally, yeah. Then we trained that that the king of the yesterday, right? And then made us the final four. My name is Rosa Walsh. I'm from Cork in Ireland, and I'm a Brahmin. I have been here for the last week, and I have another week before I head over. <laughs> so I've heard about all the vlogs, I watched a couple and then I was competed on the same show as a lot of the members of Daisy Fresh in Liverpool and Grapple Fest and kind of made a couple of connections and then three or four months later I'm here training. <laughs> I think that like this whole idea that yes it's high intensity, it's high paced, it's aggressive, whatever, that's just a part of jiu-jitsu and like I think that just because there's videos and that might be intimidating to some girls, girls can do it too. I've trained I think twice a day for the last week here in the gym and like I train girls tra like I train my obviously myself but like I train just as hard as the boys and like I think it takes somebody coming to the first class seeing how inclusive and how uh, just welcoming the whole environment is I think it takes just that first step as it is with every gym to realize okay it may look a bit scary as all gyms do from the outside but like this place is like literally I feel like I'm home here this isn't a vacation for me, this is, I literally feel like this is just so welcoming, so everybody has been so nice and it's like, I just think it takes, it takes having the bravery to make that first step. One of the best things that I've experienced over the last week is just how enthusiastic some of the members of Daisy Fresh are in coaching you. Like, obviously, I've trained a lot of gyms over the last couple of years and like, it's been quite sporadic, so I never really had like, Felt like I could go to somebody and say can you help me out with this and they'd be like yeah maybe pawn you off a little bit or like won't give you a full blown answer but like I have been here for a week whatever training twice a day and like I have gone over to certain people in the gym and they have literally spent 30 minutes plus going through every single motion allowing me to video them and it's literally been just a massive help and like something like it's a resource for me to look back when I do leave eventually um, <laughs> Or like the videos now of these techniques like I can look back on and this is something now for my own dream too it's like it's been fantastic like and it's just it's so it makes me feel so like it gives you great like self-worth it's like oh my god they actually want to help me like so that's been a massive really brilliant part of this right he didn't want to get too slow down. And there was a dude that was from an LGN that I was like, well, he's nothing. And then he got me in a My name is Kendall Roosing. I am a Grace Baja Black Belt. And I live in Newport Beach, California. Um, but obviously, I you know, travel around a lot to compete and also to train. And I've been to Daisy Fresh a couple of times now. I think it's my third or fourth time and uh, always have a blast. So it's been a really, really cool time. I think this actually is the most girls I've ever seen at Daisy Fresh ever. So um, I think maybe there were like 12 girls on the night or 12 girls on the mat tonight or something like that so it was really special to see like more women every single time that I come uh, and not just the the women who are training here but also more visitors more competitors and it's really cool to see that that happening because it's so great for the environment I think it's better for everybody and uh, it's really special I think that jiu-jitsu in general has a long way to go as far as women's involvement uh, I would in my opinion Daisy Fresh has a reputation of being or pedago or whatever has a reputation of being really tough, um, grindy, hard training. But at the same time, it's really important to understand that everybody is well taken care of inside the training. And one of the things I actually find really empowering, uh, male or female, but obviously my perspective as a woman, is that I'm pushed a lot, but I'm pushed with love rather than with fear, right? And so there's no, I'm gonna hurt you, I'm gonna, you know, try to kick you off. I mean, I've been in situations before, I've been in gyms, I've been in wrestling practice before where it was very clear that people did not want us there, 100%. Um, and like, they would try to injure you on purpose to get you out, they would call you names, they would start rumors. Uh, and that truly is to me an environment where women are not welcome. The opposite is true here at Daisy Fresh where every time I'm on the mat, I'm being coached, I'm being encouraged, I'm being pushed hard. The training is tough. I definitely get beat up, um, but I feel it 
that there's a lot of love uh, within that. And I think that's really incredible. So in my opinion, there's more and more women coming who come into this environment, feel that, and then stay because it's empowering rather than frightening. It might look scary from the outside. It looks really tough from the outside. But once you're in it, you feel the love. And I think that's why it's such a powerful environment to be in um, because love is what breeds change, right? Hate breeds temporary change. Love breeds long-term change. And so if we're in an environment where people are supporting each other, taking care of one another, and pushing each other past their limits, um, then there's really no stopping the women or the men, right? So really cool to see. I think one thing that's important to remember too when we're talking about women in jiu-jitsu is that um, be, people, women being scared of jiu-jitsu are feeling, not even scared, but feeling intimidated or unwanted because even as a black belt, like, world champion who goes around the world and does this for a living, uh, it can still feel intimidating to go into a gym. And I would like, you know, one of my friends said to me one time, a man, put this perspective in my head that made things really, really clear and for those watching, if you can think about this for a minute, like if as a man, you know, for the men watching, as a man, if you walked into a gym and the instructors were women and there was a class of 30 women on the mat, maybe one man or zero is a lot of time the case, um, and you walk in and you're expected to train, I mean, what would that feel like? uncomfortable <laughs> it really really does like and a lot of men here I've said that I've had this discussion with a couple people at this point and they hear that and they're like actually yeah like I don't know if I go back I don't know if I would feel comfortable in that environment and obviously not everyone's in that scenario um, or in that in that boat but a lot of people wouldn't feel comfortable and so for women it's not necessarily that women can't handle how tough jiu-jitsu training is or how tough the training is at Daisy Fresh specifically um, but it's an environmental issue all around the world with jiu-jitsu where many women don't feel comfortable going into a gym they're not greeted they're not you know ex there's no changing room for the girls there's no girls bathroom you know things like this seem small when they're not affecting your life when you look at it from the lens of like what if it was me on the other and everything was flipped uh, it is weird and I even had to do that exercise for myself it was powerful because I've been on the mat since I was five so I don't even really think twice about the ratio but I do sometimes feel that resistance. I can feel the energy of a place when I walk in. So bringing it back to Daisy French, this is not um, women in, ju women in jiu-jitsu. This is not a, a Daisy Fresh thing. This is a global thing. But what I would actually say is that Daisy Fresh is one of the, the schools where you walk in and you do feel welcome as a woman, um, despite what you see on camera or despite how tough it looks. It has both. It has the toughness, it has the grind, it has the sweaty, crazy wrestling mat vibe, but it also has the welcoming love that uh, supports not only the men, but the women in the academy, or uh, in the gym <laughs> with all ages. And so it's really, really special. I think that they're playing a big part in growing women's jiu-jitsu, not just uh, growing jiu-jitsu in general. So each woman walking into that school is making a big difference and it's really special to see.